We now know the Earthen Allied Race mount. Yes, we recently saw this mount not too long ago, but uh, it turns out this is the Allied Race mount. Yes, so if you're a, if you enjoy the uh, stony goat, you know, with the moss growing all over it, this is what your mount is gonna look like. It's actually a pretty nice looking mount. I'm not gonna lie. I uh, I think it's cool. It's got some nice details to it, and uh, makes for a nice mount when it comes to the stony boys. That's for sure. There's uh, we saw some variations in terms of horn length and things like that not too long ago, if you remember. Uh, we'll see if those are choices you can make in terms of which mount you get or what the horns look like. Uh, but this is a cool mount. Fits, the, fits their race pretty well, so uh, get ready to ride it. Yeah, or be ridden by it. Who knows? Uh, great customizations. Greater customizations coming with the earthen. Uh, you will be able to customize each shoulder when it comes to the gems and how they look and how far they stick out, how many there are. So that's pretty cool. We saw this level of customization with the Drakthir when they came out, and it was a pretty popular feature with them. If you remember, basically, no two Drakthir were going to look the same. There were so many different customizations. Uh, it looks like these Earthen Boys are going to be the same. I do wish one thing, though, and I've said it before. I'll say it again. Just let the, let the gems clip through the armor, Blizzard. You, you've allowed clipping in this game for years. I mean, you've never cared about a sword clipping through your mount or uh, the most outrageous clipping. We've literally seen tier sets that just, given how they look, clip through themselves. And they're not letting these gems clip through the armor. They gotta let them clip through the armor, man. It just makes, it, it, it'll let you know that you're playing an earthen rather than a regular dwarf. Even though there's a height difference, I still think allowing the gems to stick out through the armor would be a pretty cool feature. But we'll have to wait and see. Um, you can earn 25% increased flight path speed in the War Within. We know, you know, with dynamic flying and everything that's coming and has come in Dragonflight, it's, uh, it's been a fun thing, but it's kind of made flight paths a little bit less relevant, right? Well, it turns out that uh, if you go and talk to every single flight master in the new zone in Kaz Elgar, you're going to actually unlock 25% faster flight paths. Which is pretty cool. I actually still enjoy taking flight paths sometimes. You know, the scenic views, recline the chair a little bit, enjoy flying through the zone. Uh, but it's kind of, you, know, you, you really can't do it now. It's so slow. But 25% increased speed will be nice. Yeah, it'll be a nice little uh, bump for this. All you got to do is talk to every single flight master in the zone, and you will unlock that. And it'll be a warband unlock. So that means all of your warband characters will unlock the 25% increased flight speed. So uh, that's a pretty cool thing. Yeah, it's just a stone dwarf. Big gem below the waist. <laughs> I'm wondering what is everyone laughing about. Yeah, the big gem clipping through the armor below the waist would be a nice one, that's for sure. Yeah, cosmetic uh, haversack backpacks also coming in the war within. This looks like it's going to be some kind of delve reward. Uh, this was an updated cosmetic that we saw. A pretty intense looking backpack in terms of detail. It's got a little, uh, little flame it looks like on the back here. A torch on the side, some sacks as well. You know, everything that you would need as a Delver. So this is a pretty cool, nice little looking backpack. Uh, I think these things are cool. I like it when they add some add additional cosmetics, just letting people, you know, live out their fantasies, whatever that is. If you've always wanted to be an explorer and WoW, you know, you could definitely live out that fantasy. Now this backpack will help you do that. It's a pretty cool transmog, not bad. Uh, Challenge Delve Rewards. This is really cool. Now you guys remember when they revealed these uh, customized rewards... I saw the, I, I thought th the possibilities are endless here. They could literally just continually add customizations to these things. So if you forgot, uh, these customizable blimp flying mount things are going to be something that you unlock as you delve more into delves, right? You'll continually unlock cosmetic uh, customizations to these mounts, and there's a lot of them actually. This one is going to be unlocked when you defeat the highest tier the final boss in the highest tier of each of these delves. When you do these achievements, you can unlock this void cosmetic version of this mountain. Look at this thing. That's cool, man. Yeah, I want it too. This is a really cool looking uh, mount customization for this thing. And again, uh, these mounts, I feel like they're just going to continue. This is a gift that's going to keep on giving. They're going to keep adding really cool cosmetics to this stuff. And uh, I can't wait to see what else comes with these mounts. Honestly, I'm, I'm very excited to get to this feature and customize this mount and, uh, and really unlock more and more as we get further into delves. All right, boys. The important part, we got tier sets. More tier sets. I think this is the final wave of them. Here we go. The mage tier set. Yeah, how do I feel about it? It's an interesting one. Because there's some parts that I absolutely love. And there's some parts that have me questioning everything. Yeah, so the, let's let's talk about the most controversial part. Straight off the bat, it's the helm. Okay, 
the Cyclops helm, you know, it, it's uh, the one eye in the center. I just don't know how to feel about it yet. Like, sometimes I look at it and I'm like, damn, it's pretty cool. And sometimes I look at it and I'm like, oh, God, it's got me feeling a certain way. I don't know how I feel about it. It's weird. What I will say for sure is the shoulders are a W. Really, really cool looking shoulders. Um, I love the detail in the uh, in the robe thing here we got going on. They used kind of the Coltier and Cloak look where it goes through the belt, comes down. I do like that. The pants are pretty cool. The boots are eh, something to be desired, whatever. It's got tape over the... I don't know what that is over the feet. Uh, the gloves are really, really cool. I love the Curentor look to this, especially with what's going to happen to Dalaran. I love the Curentor. And actually, one of my favorite sets of all time for the mages was the original Curentor set. I think we got in Wrath of the Lich King. It was always one of my favorites. I always liked it a lot. Yes, I know it is Kieran Tor for sure, but um, I just don't know how I feel about the one eye on the helm. Uh, I love this detail too, right here on the back. Look at that. That's really, really cool. And uh, the, the different writings here on them. Let's see how the animations look on this. Um, you know, the shoulders, like I said, it looks like two portals on the on the shoulder. It looks really, really cool. They uh, This whole like wavy look, I don't know if you can kind of see it. It gives like off like a blurry wavy look almost. We saw it in the Drakthir set with the flames, right? Where it kind of gave off like a heat vibe to it. I really like how they're using it here too. This the, the animations look really cool. The belt is a really nice looking belt. The eye on the belt. I would say shoulders, gloves, and belt are awesome on this. Even the chest, honestly. The whole set's pretty nice. I'm just questioning the helm a little bit. The helm still got me like questioning things, you know? Yeah, it could be worse though. It could certainly be worse. That's true. That's true. It could be worse. Um, I think it's a nice set. There's going to be a lot that you use from this set going forward. Um, I do like the Kieran Tor theme. Again, there's different colors here that we've seen. But if I'm being honest with myself, I'd want this colorway. This is the original Kieran Tor colorway, right? The gold and the purple, and the and it's it's nice. I like it a lot. Um, uh, in terms of the helm, it'll maybe it'll grow on me. Maybe it'll grow on me. But speaking of, it could be worse. Let's check out the Hunter set once again, because um, it's been updated, right? We, we we really shit all over the Hunter set when we first saw it in the game. And uh, it has been updated. If you're looking at it and you're like, Sam, what do you mean it still looks the same? Well, let's look at how it originally looked. And we can see what one of the major updates were, and it was one of my major complaints. Remember these pants? I said these pants look like freaking regular pants. Look at the pants now. So Blizzard turned around and really updated the pants, that's for sure. They gave it an additional layer, and that was what I originally said it needed. I was like, come on, Blizzard, these pants look like freaking regular pants that you just loot off a random mob. So um, the added layer to them is nice, the fur, the patches on the side, it looks better. It looks better. I don't think anything else changed. Let's see, chest, shoulders, no, nothing else really changed between these two. Uh, the pants got the update. It's nice, I like how it looks on the back even, you know, before you had ass, you know, leather chap, ass exposed, now you got the pants coming around the back, it looks better. I will say, like, as much as we shit on this set, there's some cool things about it. The little trap hanging off the belt is still pretty cool. Um, uh, did they update the belt as well? Oh, they did. So the belt did get a little flap. You know, it got the cock flap, which is a staple of, wow, you always got to have the cock flap. That's a nice addition as well to this set. It looks better. It's probably still not my favorite Hunter set of all time. I would say it's definitely not my favorite Hunter set of all time, but it does look better. It does look better, that's for sure. So the updated set, let's see how the animations look again. Uh, the cool glowing, yeah, that's fine. You know, we got some glowing shit coming off the shoulders, the gloves, and the helm. That's not a, that's not a, not a, not a bad addition to it at all. Um, overall, it got better. Still not the best, but it did look better. No one ever reviews the Epic, Epic Crafted sets. I don't, I haven't seen them. I, still not great, yeah, but still not bad. Another updated set is uh, the Warlock set. Uh, we see now an updated animation, updated chest. So, uh, before we check out the animation, uh, you know what? Let's fuck it. Let's just check out the animation first, because this animation is kind of insane. Look at this thing. I saw it in the images. I haven't seen it live yet, but uh, yeah, wow. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty badass. I'm not gonna lie. I'm guessing this animation comes with the shoulders. That's usually how it works. So when you equip these shoulders, you will get that animation. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So whether or not you like the rest of this set. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's what's happening to people when they see that animation. Whether or not you like this set, or, um, you know, it's it's not doing it for, and we'll talk about the rest of the set here in a second, but that animation, I have to say, is a W. That's a very cool animation. That's that's pretty badass, you know, the, the whole demonic art, you know, coming out. It's give, it gives you some of that, um, um, you know, Hindu religion. It's, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah, very cool. Uh, a nice animation. Now, let's talk about the set. Because this set was updated as well. The last time we saw the Warlock set, 
This is how it looked, very bare bones, really all we had was the helm and the, and the belt in the, in the bottom. Now we have this, okay. Now one thing I want to focus on here is uh, the chest. This is a male character. And always use another Kale sauce, knight. thank you so much for the sub, man. I do appreciate, 12, that's a year. That's a year. Damn, a year of being a death out of our scourge. Thank you, Kale sauce, I appreciate that. Um, looking at the set, this is a male character. And it does have, you know, the sports bra look to it. So I don't know how I feel about it. Originally, we just had nips out, which wasn't a great choice either. Probably, if, I'm, if I'm being honest, just my own taste here, I probably wouldn't use this chest. I would definitely use the, the rest of the set is decent. Doesn't look bad. I'd probably use some of it. Uh, but the chest is not doing it for me. I'll be honest. The exposed stomach, the, uh, it's just, it, you know, it is what it is. I don't even know how this is going to look on Undead, to be honest with you. It's probably look janky as shit. Uh, but... You know, it's it's fine. Some other updates. Let's see what else they updated here. The gloves, I think, got an update. Uh, they go all the way to the arm length now. So if you see here, they used to have the bicep covered in a chain and the glove ended short on the old view of it. Now it goes all the way. So that's a nice addition as well. Uh, did the helm get more detail in it? No, the helm still looks the same. So that's the same. Uh, definitely the shoulders are a nice addition to this set. Obviously, the shoulders usually are. Uh, the boots also got a change. They used to have that Aladdin, you know, little... Pike here now it looks like more you know I like that more boxed off looks very cool um, overall what I would say about the warlock set is there's pieces I would use here you know there's definitely pieces I would use but overall uh, yeah for a female lock maybe yeah why not but overall there's probably you know certainly pieces that I wouldn't use the chest being one of them I probably wouldn't go forward with that but damn but damn these shoulders with this animation I mean that's a must equip you gotta have this this is pretty damn badass. Uh, overall, you know, the tier sets for the War Within, we've basically seen them all now. I'm not sure. Have we seen Shaman yet? I don't remember. But um, going forward, I would say most of these tier sets, they're decent. They're the first round of tier sets for the expansion. You know, I may be slightly underwhelming on a couple classes, okay on some others. Uh, there were some definite Ws for some classes uh, and some really cool animations that came with certain pieces. Definitely transmogable stuff that came out of some of this.